Hi, this is Sam Botstein from MachineSchools.com. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube for all of our machine tutorials and check us out at MachineSchools.com. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to make this electric piano sound using only a sample built into the machine's library, machine sampler, and one effect in the machine's library. So, let's get to it. The first part of what we're doing involves taking a sample right from the machine library. We're going to use this slap bass C4 sound. That's what it sounds like. Completely unaltered. You can hear that it rings out for a little bit of a while. We're going to go ahead and mute our original sound and just load up that sample. And here's what this sequence sounds like with that sample completely unaltered. You can hear that this takes a really long time to ring out, in fact it's still going. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the type of sound from a one-shot to an ADSR sound. This way, as opposed to just playing the sound as simply as possible, so the length of the note doesn't matter, it's actually just going to play for as long as we set it to, and by default that's basically just as long as the MIDI notes that we put in are. So you can see this is very intuitive and easy to control as an ADSR sound. The next thing we're going to do to really change this sample into sort of a synth sound that we're going to make into an electric piano is to head over to the FX filter section, turn on the filter to a low pass two, turn the cutoff down and the resonance up. So already this sort of sounds like an electric piano a little bit. We have a string sound, which is sort of filtered out. Unfortunately, the sort of sound we're getting is very limited if we don't modulate the filter at all. I find the filtered string bass sounds to be very beautiful. But that really isn't everything we're going for here. What we can actually do is head over to the modulation section and then set its destination to cutoff. To get the sort of twang sound I'm looking for, all we really need to do is turn up the attack. We can really dial in the decay if we want, but the attack is the thing that's going to be the most characteristic in this kind of ADSR sound. It looks like 22.3 milliseconds is just about right. I'm going to bring the decay down a little bit. And then we're going to send that, in addition to the cutoff, to the drive. The key is to not set the drive all the way so it's so obvious and so jarring. Although that does sound okay. But only, you know, to where it engages a sort of a zits or overdriven sound. In the FX filter section, we can actually lower the sample rate and the bit rate if we wanted to as well to push this further. So this really quickly has a really nice feel to it. We can actually bring things a little bit further by speeding up the LFO and sending it to the pitch a little bit. Here, to me, this is a little bit too obvious, but just a subtle subtle LFO setting. We can also send it to the pitch, the drive, and the pan. So as you can see, these are all things that we've spoken about in previous machine tutorials, but what we've gone ahead and done is put them together into something that you can tweak really easily to take one sound, like a slap bass sound, and turn it into a completely different one, like an electric piano sound. It helps that both are based on sort of a string synthesis idea. 
The next thing we're going to do is we could EQ this a little bit to make it sit in our mix, but what we're going to do is actually just skip that step a little bit and go ahead and load in the grain delay. Now we're going to leave the size right where it is. So we're already getting the delay I was looking for. And we're basically going to bring up the mod, the space, the jitter to about 25%. We're going to go ahead and turn on the reverse as well. Now that we've gotten the sort of sound that we're looking for out of the grain delay, we're going to turn the mix a little bit down so the grain delay is a little bit more of a subtle effect. So there you have it. That's how to take a simple sound from Machine's built-in sample library and then build it out using Machine Sampler and the built-in effects. We're going to actually take a look at how to quickly bring arpeggiated sounds and chords into Machine, how to sequence them really quickly in a future tutorial, so look out for that. And we're going to use this very sound to do it. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube for all of our Machine tutorials and check us out at MachineSkills.com.